Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray twin from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're good today. So today, the subject of this video is sex, money, and mercury. And specifically, this is the mercury retrograde to finalize. Now, mercury hasn't officially gone retro yet. But a lot of twin flames are already feeling the effects, even from a week ago. You're starting up. You're starting to get a lot of things finalized. And what are those things? Well, a lot of it does have to do with sex and money. Who are you in bed with? Who are you in bed with financially? Who are you in bed with who's been embedded in you? Stuff like that. So this has a lot to do with relations, sexual relations, all types of relationships. That's what the Venus retrograde is for. It is for your union's individual relationships. And also the body. This is your angelic light body, the part of you that does get you around and also your subtle bodies, the parts of you that are connected way out and through yourself, which is the multidimensional being you are. That's something that people tend to forget because you've been a very long time of living in, you know, maybe one or two dimensions. But there's more to you than meets the eye. You are a multifaceted, sparkling being. And you've been seeing some of your multifaceted, sparkling personality, or maybe not so sparkling. The other things that are coming out with this, violence, family violence, domestic violence, violence between each other. Yes, that does and has happened. All forms coming out seeming with a sense of loss and wrongdoing. And for a lot of you, this may be things that you perceive from your twin. And this is some of the things that people very naturally would want to run from. Nobody wants to get hurt. Nobody wants to get harmed anymore. Nobody needs the violence. Violence doesn't really resolve anything. And yet it's been advocated for lifetimes. It's been promoted. It's been pushed upon you to handle things in certain ways. There's also going to be things like a uh, sense of marital rape uh, to any degree of violence and again the sex and violence and money and violence and you know there's all of these things have been all tangled up together. Money. Money shifts. Different types of shifts with your money. So for some people where they're still living in a karmic way or seeming to be karmic, or if you're observing your twin and somehow money seems to slip through their fingers. Now money is an energy. It is intended to help you live and thrive and sustain you and maintain you and even thrive where you have opportunities for all of the good things that you want. Neither of you is intended to starve for the sake of love. And yet a lot of people really struggle with this because why money can be leaving you or it can be shifting on you or it might not come to you and you're saying where's my flow where's my flow well this is the retrograde to finalize things if you're looking to the wrong direction for your flow or you're trying to hang on to an old situation it's not really going to flow your higher energies won't come back into karma you're leaving it you left your heart and soul in places and things. That's the reason. So what are the things that you may still have your heart and soul that you've given to? Is it an organization? Is it something that's no longer serving your union? Is it something of an old structure? Is it old ways of making money? You know, things that really won't stand up to your union. And again, this is going to be along the lines of, you know, all of the sex and money and all of your relationships to it changing. Now, a lot of you are getting ready to fly as well. And how do you know? 
Anyone had that weird, anxious feeling in their chest? Anyone had the weeps? You're saying goodbye to all the places that you may have had heart and soul to. How do you get yourself to a harmonious level where you're holding a higher vibration? Because you are getting ready to fly. So let's say we have a couple here, okay? This couple has met each other already. And they get together every once in a while. And this one says to that one, gosh, I wish we could just be together. Yes, I know. I, I want to be with you. I just don't really see how we're, we're going to do this. Well, I wish you weren't married. Yeah, but then you went ahead and got married. Well, I didn't know. I I didn't know what to do. I mean, this was something that I was feeling like maybe I need to go through someone else. But why didn't you wait for me? But I've been waiting. I've known you. But you've had numerous people. God, what is she doing now? Is keeping score? Why doesn't he feel me? Why doesn't he understand I'm distressed and I can't stand for my husband to touch me? You know, I can't stand it when I think about someone else touching you. Oh my God, I can't believe what you just said. It's like you're reading my thoughts. No, I don't read your thoughts. I just can't stand it and I'm afraid of myself. I'm afraid of what I might do. You know, uh, there's times when, well, no, I, I can't really say it. I don't know. I Why aren't you communicating with me? I, I don't get it when you clam up like this because I can feel you, but I felt like you just put up a wall. Oh, gosh, I wish his wife would, oh, shame on me, shame on me. I, w I wish something would happen to her, but I, I don't really wish that. I don't really wish it. And you see they're at an impasse. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to get themselves unclicked. They're winding up feeling ashamed and sorry and obligated and wah, wah, wah. they're not staying in a high vibe. And they keep turning away and going into other things. Back, retreating back into the same situations, whether it's financial fears, whether they're sexual fears, and there are people that have sexual fears. What if they don't give in to sex? What if it's an expectation because it's a marital obligation? And you have another couple here, and they love each other very much. But her family keeps talking about arranging things. And he's saying to her, but we found each other. I don't know why you're still considering any of those suitors. I just don't understand it. I mean, you told me you love me. We have so much fun together. Yes, I do. I have so much fun with you. You're, you're just, you're sort of a given in my life. What? I'm a given? You mean you're taking advantage of me? Oh, no, no, no. It's just that I need to go through with this. Everybody's counting on me. They're just counting on me to get through it. And, you know, I'll, I'll still see you. I, I know that somehow you're the one always in my heart, but that's not good enough. I can't just be an afterthought. I can't just come in after a whole line of people. And, and who are these other people who get a vote on our lives? I, I want to be with you. Well, but you don't understand how it is in my culture. You just, you don't get it. You wouldn't get it. You know, it's, it's, it's just, it's complicated. It's complicated. No, our love is what will simplify. I, I, now I'm getting confused. Now I'm feeling like maybe it is too complicated. Maybe there's just too many things. And maybe I should just, I don't know, let you go. Well, I'll always love you. You know that. You know that. I mean, I always have you in my heart. You know, he goes, I can't stop thinking about you. Do you know that? Do you understand that? I can't stop. It's messing me up. I can't work. I can't make money. And then if I can't make money, how am I going to even support us? Well, but you don't have to support me. I, that's all being arranged. No, you don't understand. I want to. I want to give you everything. 
I want to give you the world. I want to take you away from all this. I can't. I'm stuck. You're upsetting me now. Would you please stop? But, but I'm getting upset. I've wanted to talk about this, and, and you keep... It feels like you put up walls and you run for me and, and then you tell me you love me and it, it's just so messing with me. I, I just, and what, it, it, I, I can feel anger building up inside me. No, I, I don't like it when you're angry. See, this is one of the things. When I'm, you know, when I'm all settled, I'm just going to have a very calm life. It's just going to be, you know, nice and easy and then we can see and then, and then, and then, but we're, we're knowing each other now. Like, what's wrong with now? Well, you don't understand. And the more that it churns, the more that they're staying on the karmic wheel. And he's confused, and now he's angry, and she seems very ambivalent and complacent as though, well, this is just how it is. How would these things move forward? How do you get the sex untangled and the money untangled and the relationships untangled. How do you continue doing this? How do you continue even when you have a couple that says, I just know uh, somehow our love is so divine, the divine will find a way. Yes, but do you remember that time where you told me you were leaving him and then you didn't? And you took no steps. And I could feel it. The door was wide open. The door was wide open. And you did nothing. But I became afraid. I don't know who's going to... What are you afraid of? We have what we need. No, don't you understand? I'm used to a certain lifestyle. I have to... I don't know. I, I have to have... He wouldn't understand, you know, the, the way things are. I do my thing, he does his thing, and I give it. What? You give in? What does that mean? What is going on exactly? And the more up in the head they are, the less they're able to understand and feel each other. And the divine, yes, does help. That is what this also is. This is another opportunity for the door to open and for you to walk right through. Why? Because in April, all of the doors are closing. There is going to be no retreating. If people do, it will be felt very uncomfortably. Because everything you've given heart and soul to, it's not going to stay there. It's coming back to each other. And unless you pull it in and hold it and keep what belongs to you, it will tend to feel like it's out of reach. You're also getting ready to fly with each other. So this is... These are the parts of the body, anxious, fearful, not understanding, mental fog, knees hurting, hips hurting, right hip, that's going to be 3D connections, left hip, that's going to be your 4 and 5D connections, what needs to clear from you too. Also, I have this webinar very helpful for this time. I did these a year ago, but they're actually very helpful for people now. Harvesting Your Love, where I talk about heart communication. I talk about the indigo masculine in transition. I talk about the touch and go that twins experience, where it feels like you touch each other, you go away. You touch each other, you go away. I, I discuss that in there. And I talk about the grid work. I talk about the separation anxiety and what to do. Now, I have exercises in here that are meditative to help you connect your union to the soul star, to help you do the grid work. What if you're in two different countries and you want the heart communication to deepen and you want to take heart and soul and you need to do your grid work? How would you do that if you don't have the money and the means to travel? I talk about that in there. So that is a very helpful one. Also, if you've been feeling your cosmic connections, it's through your dream time or what you're seeing, or maybe you've always felt it, check out my Divine Lover's Cosmic Body. This is for your cosmic level opening of your channels. Now, the key here to all of this is your body. It's all about the angelic body and your subtle bodies. 
of which there are several. And how do you make things happen? You have a subtle body called the causal body. And that is clearing. You need to be able to unclick, release, let go of things properly. And be able to make your new connections with each other. If you would like, I also do a live webinar called Blue Infusion. Um, the 6th, the 7th, and the 9th. The links are below. I also do live one-on-one -on -one in person sessions with people and in towards uh, middle of April or actually the 22nd, 23rd, I'm doing a live class with body work, with live body work. This is me doing the body work on you, which I've done before, but now this is going to be a live uh, workshop class to do it. So there are several things I have that will be very helpful for you to get things shifted in your union to help the relation shift, shift, and to get yourself more of union. And that this is not a relationship. This is not codependency, people. I don't care how many big words you learn. Um, it's still love. L-O-V-E, love, or amor, A-M-O-R. Anywhere that you go, people know about love. They have different beliefs about love. You are the blessed people on this planet to be amongst the first to really experience a level of love that you haven't been able to experience in centuries, in lifetimes, a really long time. And that's coming to a close now. And you'll be able to lift yourselves up and fly again. So if you're struggling with some things, if this is new to you, because my messages are for some new people where you're just becoming aware of this. Maybe you're just finding out. Maybe you just found out six months ago, three months ago. And yeah, the first batch is a people. There are people together. There's going to be more waves and other waves. And there's more people next year. Which batch are you in? Are you in the batch this year or the batch next year or the following year? You know, so a lot of that is very fluid. It's like waves that keep coming onto the beach. This is going to keep happening for people. Why not get yourself jump-started? Why not get yourself ready? Because your body is also new. That is what I teach about. I teach about the body. I teach about the changes, the transformations within, and the what to do. Because if I don't give you some things to do, it's not making it a full holistic thing, now is it? So my tool, my material has quite a bit of tools. Each one is usually about two hours on average. And I hope that you check it out. The links are below. Please subscribe if you like these updates of knowing what's going on because this is more and more going to get a bit confusing and it is driven by a lot of, lunar energies, and planetary energies. So having the internal knowledge, how to work your inner chakras so that you know things, check this one out. It's excellent. And I hope that you like it. Thanks for subscribing to everyone who has. Thanks to everyone who has participated. I think you got a lot out of it. And make sure that you get a lot out of it. You get the recording from it. Uh, to review, and I do supplement that with a meditation, a guided meditation, as well as daily exercises to help you maintain. So this isn't just talk therapy. This is participatory because you really are going to have the wind in your hair and the flying and the love making. You will be making the third energy, so get ready, okay? Get ready. Help things shift for the better. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye now.